Right, it's your turn to Maui. What, what's your next take? Yeah, so this is another top 20 inspired take, I guess, is that I do not think for 2023, Simple will finish in the top three. Oh, so, wait a minute. Top, he didn't even say top what, top three. Okay. No. I are don't you going to oblige us with three names that are going above him? Are you just going yeah, 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 to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think it's pretty. I think it's pretty easy to just pick the people that were just right behind him, actually. And I think that Zaiwu is going to do better than him. I think Brokey could actually do better than him. Right, wait a I minute. Think... <laughs> I, I think we've already created yeah. the greatest hot take already in this episode. Yeah. That line alone, because you have to realize yeah. you've all, you've entered like Freakazoid territory that whole book. Keep going, man. Keep going. <laughs> okay, no, no. I, okay, I think that, I think these are all potential. There's, okay, okay, so I'm saying he's not going to finish in the top three, yeah. but I'll give more than three names that I think oh, okay, would finish. Okay, okay. If I had to pick three that are going to finish in the top three right now, it would probably be Shiro, Zaiwu, and Nico. That's who I would say okay. is my top three pretty safe, for, yeah. it, it's it's a pretty you know it's yeah. super far away to actually and we haven't even seen shiro play this year but i think okay. that you you get those three you add in axile you add in potential for brokey uh you i i think there's just like also the chance monacy <laughs> okay. act does better than oh, him this year okay, keep going i think i love it i love it okay the main thing is that basically I, <laughs> right now it just feels like simple and and navi are in a position right now where they're just so hung up on the fact that they're rebuilding and they know that and that's why I, it just seems like the motivation that they've taken into this spring it's definitely something and, they and talk also, about in all the interviews you know yes, they always frame it that way yeah. that's that's what i'm that's what i'm playing at here it's the fact that navi right now are in a position where it just seems like they're not they're, they're almost like giving themselves more time to get better and usually i've never really heard this kind of approach from navi where you know sometimes blade will be like we're not good enough yet or something but he's not like oh give us two tournaments and then we'll see what we need to do from here okay. and i think simple himself is kind of cooling it off a little bit because he knows that the team isn't in a in a position to compete for trophies and that's why i think that he'll take his foot off the gas just enough whereas everybody else is so hungry right now all these other names that i'm saying they're the ones that are really trying to compete for the Katowice trophy for the for the uh blast major trophy i don't think i just don't think navi's really in the running and it's almost kind of like the dexter point but just for a team that should have championship aspirations it's kind of like they're just pulling themselves out of the race almost by doing going for this npl project and we're still seeing the flaws in electronic as a leader but just before we jump in is there actually anything specifically like do you actually think also simple form is going to drop off compared to past years uh, just, I mean, it's it's just that it's not like blowing us away at the spring okay. groups. That's kind of it. He's definitely it's not, not hard carry, of course. Yeah, of course. Yes, exactly. Yeah, yes. he's still he's still really good. He's obviously still really good. You know, it's it's a hot take that he's not going to be a top no, three player. Of course. You know, like the whole point of the show is hot take. Yeah. yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. It's all good. Kassad, come on then, hit me. Because I know, here's the thing, Kassad, I could read your face, man. You were like me, you were like, oh, mixed bit, you know, maybe Nico. But the one he said, Brokey, and then Monacy, like, come on, hit me, hit me just, with the take, like, come on. You know, Brokey, like, you could just scratch that one. There is no chance. That <laughs> that, he doesn't even, he doesn't even, that, like, even dignify gonna, that. Exactly. Yeah, I'm not going to address that one. <laughs> Honestly, yes. I mean, yeah, okay. Sure, it's possible. I can, I can see that. I mean, Zaibu did it as a, in a rookie year. Why the hell not? He's, you know, he's good, honestly, kid. So, but it's a very bold prediction based on one event that you saw this year, right? Yes. Did Navi get outplayed? Absolutely, by G2 twice. In the last few days, you know, did Simple play good? No, as he can, absolutely not. But it's still so early. We know that Simple plays his absolute best CS when he gets into these big events, big stages, something that he feels comfortable, you know, against other people who are not so comfortable when it comes to the Spodek or, you know, Lanxys Arenas or Majors or everything. He's going to destroy all of those people. And he's going to definitely be in the top three this year. I don't know if he's going to be number one or two or three, simply because the, the points that you made about Navi and their NPL project and, you know, the... Obviously, electronic not being uh, sufficient enough in the IGL role, which they didn't change for some reason. I don't know what the hell are they doing, but that's a that's another topic. But I don't think he's going to be out of top three simply because it's simple. I think he has like at least two or three more years like that in him. And they just need to get a little bit, you know, in shape when it comes to the team and get their, you know, ducks in a row. And he's going to be fine, especially when you come to, you know, events like Kata, Cologne, all these like big events, IEMs that they're going to be participating, majors, he's going to be just fine. And this is just a product right now that he's playing with just because of this uh, 
rough situation that Navi is in right now when it comes to the new player and the uh, and the IGL. I still don't know why are they not, you know, getting a proper IGL or trying to, you know, remove electronic at least from that spot because he's obviously, you know, struggling more than expected. What I'll say about this is right. As, a, as an abstract point, Maui, it's a totally legitimate point. Like, any player could easily skip, miss the top three in the fucking world for the year. Like, that. by the way, you could be like Nico and still have a good year, but just be like fifth. Like, that's nothing wrong with that. You're still a great player. You could be in a league in the past years when they come like top 10 or whatever. Like, that's all good. But here's the problem. I get that they, you've picked the wrong name, my dude. Any other name, I would be with you. Like, maybe Zewu just has a bad... Period. Maybe <laughs> Nico has some problems with the IGL. Maybe she wrote Axel, you know, the team fails. Or but the problem is you literally did pick the fucking Neo in the Matrix of CSGO. <laughs> and so all I'll do, first of all, before we get into like the side details, I'll just give you some stats. So number two player of 2022. And by the way, a lot of people agreed was Zewu, right? A lot of people, did you have him as your number two, Maui? Yeah, yeah, I would have I had Zewu. Here's something sure. interesting for you, right? This was, you remember, for Zewu, it was the first part of the year wasn't as good. He got heated up, where Simple was the opposite, right? He was super hot at the beginning, then he cooled off. This is the first six months of 2022, the stats for Zewu, number two player of the year. He had a 1.21 rating, he had 0.6 deaths per round, and he had 0.78 kills per round. So not super over like you'd expect, but it's a very good stats. And that first six months, combined with the other six, got him second in the world, right? This last six months where we're all like, Simple's off his game. He's, you know, what's going wrong with him? Is it, is it the outside of the game circumstances? Is, it, is he not happy with, the, you know, he had his family situation, he was separated, right? We're all hitting the panic button. We're all like, what's going on with Simple? This is Simple's last six months stats. 1.19 rating. 0.61 deaths per round, 0.78 KPR. So his shit six months was Zewu's first six months. What I'm pointing out here is Simple really is that dude. Like his down period is like about two other people in the whole world can go, yeah, I'm better than you. Like that's his down period. So my only problem is this, Maui. True, any player can have a bad year. But this is, the, if there's one player, it's why you, you're right. It is a hot take. It's a hell of a hot take. But like if there's one player I would bet again, I would say he's going to make it. That's the problem. He's going to. And the Navi angle's not a bad one, but the problem with that one is they just got too many good pieces. Like they can sort of like, they could almost like fuck it up four times and eventually accidentally find a good lineup with that team. Maybe the IGL one kills it, but I think, I think it'll work. But it's like, isn't it's a good hot take. I just don't buy it myself. So, so one and the Modesty I... one, I have to say. Look, I know G2 might be really good, but the Modesty one feels like haterism. Because that's like, you, if, if anything, <laughs> you should have made it spicier. You should have just said, Simple will be the second best Ukrainian opera in 2023. That's a pretty, that's a fucking bagger right there. Wait, Modesty's Russian though. Oh, sorry. I mean, CIS one or whatever. Okay, yeah, sure, yeah, sure. CIS, yeah. yeah, just switch it to that. Yeah, sure, sure. But, um, okay, I'll, I'll say that. Oh, no, oh, well, biology, you'd be third best there. There you go. You'd have Shiro and Modesty ahead of him. <laughs> yeah, actually, that's, that's the, right. That's, that's the, is, that's that the spicy true. take. Third yeah. best CIS uh, opera. I mean, I could have, I could have said he'll finish outside the top two, but I actually do see a world where a couple of those guys do pass him, yeah, not, just, not just, not just, not just one or two. But listen, yeah, don't mean, worry, Maui. I'm gonna have some mental takes later. <laughs> don't even worry about that. I mean, one, one little addendum. One little addendum to this is just that that I think Navi's just in such a bad position because of the fact they're sticking to only Ukrainian players that they're going to add to their team if they if they had the option to get russian players then i think blade would just find the guy and i think that they would be competing consistently top four in practically every single tournament if not winning them but i think that that's like, confirmed look, no but it's just what people suspect if you look at the pattern they don't they're never linked with yeah. anyone russian like even remember even the last rumor was that buster was going to join them do you remember that one last year the reason kasad why i assume it's true is because they've never been linked with a russian player they've only had rumors they removed the russian players and then spoiler remember the last major playoffs like half the players in the whole playoffs were russian like the joke would be that would be the number one region you'd be targeting right now isn't it like all the talents coming out of there isn't electronic russian as well like, no he is but like it's just they haven't removed him though have they you know what that's, I mean? That's the thing. Like, what stops them from actually getting another Russian player? Well, that's it. And, well, know. look, without making yeah, this see, too much of a speculated side tangent, I always wondered on that one, particularly myself, Kassad, like, why they... I always wondered if that was, like, a simple move, like, keep simple happy, you know what I mean? Because if you notice, simple does always, like... He sort of does the Michael Jordan, Scotty Pippen thing. He always gives, like, full credit to Electronic and sort of... Because he knows what it was like to be the one-man carry. So I wonder if they just keep simple happy with that. that. Part of me does wonder if they ever just remove the Russians, mate. If they ever get bad, I wonder about it myself. I mean, it's a, it's we are going to be sliding yeah, into politi political subject, which we want to avoid. Yeah. But the, the thing is, like, they 
you're in a rough spot right now, you sure. know, no matter what they do. But we don't know. Like, let's say they decide to, you know, add more Russian players if, if you know, if it's possible. Situation. Yeah. If it's possible, yes. And then we don't know what's going to happen in in uh, in Cloud Nine in three months. Maybe they yep. turn out to be shit. Maybe they can, in somewhere in April, get uh, another player that's going to elevate their game to what it was before. And then we have Simple being on his best performance from April to the end of the year, you know, and that's more than enough to be number. Well, one or two or three, you know. So it's a it's it's a it's a big stretch. Him not being in top three this year, but we'll see, I guess. To see more cool, funny, interesting clips based on topics from my content. Well, subscribe to this channel, then, or you know, be a pleb and don't. <laughs>